Well, um, hey bro, peoples, this is Chris, aka Socks Two. welcome back to another vlog. Now, I know that I've been kind of, like, weak within, like, gaming videos, like, I haven't started the LP on, on Beautiful Joe 2, which I'm getting to, I just gotta, f like, finish up a, other, a couple other stuff I gotta do. This week's also been the New York Statewide, um, English Language Arts Test, which is basically been slowing down my progression because I've been having to rest for that. But also, yeah. So this vlog is basically, uh, you know, it's not even gonna be a vlog. Might as well just make it an actual video. Will be games that I would definitely buy if they were ever made up. If they were made. Because I recently just saw a video by IGN about how Capcom, a longtime publisher, is now starting to decline. Which made me thinking, why don't they just release games for, why don't they, why don't they just release anticipated sequels? from long running game like from long running game series so it made it started making me thinking about um sequels that I've been wanting to have for years now but yet we haven't even got them so this is my sort of list of the, all the sequels that I've been wanting to see in video games for years now so let's begin my first sequel I want the first sequel I want to see is uh, is of course beautiful joe 3 now the reason why I say beautiful joe 3 is because the Beautiful Joe 1 and 2 were huge successes in the gaming market. They basically made the GameCube boom up in sales. They held strong, but after Red Hot Rumble came out, they basically just disappeared. Now, I, rem I remember hearing something about Clover Studios, the people who made Beautiful Joe, um, like, just going out of business. Which made me think that if they go out of business, then they won't make any more Beautiful Joe as well as Okami. But... Now that Capcom is declining, they gotta start resorting to other ideas. Ideas that the fans want. And Beautiful Joe seems like a very, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, ambitious game, um, ambitious series that could be revived if they make Beautiful Joe 3. So yeah, so that's basically my thoughts on Beautiful Joe 3 and why they should make it. Next game would probably be a new Jet Set Radio. Now, last time we saw a Jet Set Radio game was maybe about a decade ago, and that was Jet Set Radio Future. Not really sure if there's any other games after that, but I just know that Jet Set Radio Future was the last one, I believe, that I've heard of. Now, it's been a decade since the game was um, released, and they could make another one, because the series is well-remembered, because they have Beat and other J um, JS... Jet Set Radio characters and a bunch of Sega spin-offs. So there is a possibility that they could make another game. And Jet Set Radio was given a PSN digital download. So if you see it on PSN, download it now because it's a great game. So down so they could make a new Jet Set Radio game and is it has a pretty good fan base. And if they make it, maybe Sega might be able to get back in the competition because right now the one thing that's making them live on as a um a game developer is Sonic. Now, this has been going on for years now. They've been relying on Sonic to basically revive Sega. Like they have a ton of tons of other IPs like Jet Set Radio, they have Monkey Ball, they have um their Samba the Amigo, but mostly they've been placing all their attention on Sonic. Now, I don't blame them for doing that because recently Sonic games have gone up in quality over the years. Now, if they could shift their attention to Jet Set Radio, maybe they might have another, like, IP to focus on so they could earn more money. And the last game that I want, I really want to come out... Actually, wait, no, 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 two games, two more games. Now, the second to last game is, of course, a real Jack 4. Now, if most of you don't know, Jack and Daxter is a PS... was a PlayStation IP. They recently made a like another playable appearance appearance in PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. But they haven't really had a real game in a couple years now. Now I would count the Lost Frontier as Jack and Daxter 4, but just something doesn't seem right about the game to be a fourth entry. Because if you think about it, they take everything, everything away that made the first three games great. And it's just, it's, I think of it more as like a reboot to the series rather than a fourth actual game. Now, if they give us a fourth game of Jack and Daxter, like who knows what it could be. Because every with every game they have, they always um, reinvent themselves. But Jack and Daxter, like Beautiful Joe, 
and beat aren't for aren't forgotten characters. Like they have a good fan base. They make cameos in like other games, so they they're definitely not forgotten. And if they could shift their attendance to making another Jack and Daxter game, it could be a huge hit and make the may probably make the PS4 like boom up in sales because of that. And the last game. Oh my gosh, the last game I've been wanting for years. I've been wanting for probably about maybe 10, 11 years after I got one after I got the game. So, of course, it has to be Sonic Adventure 3. Now, this game is probably going to basically get a lot of bad comments for like maybe the five people who watched um this video. Now, like Sonic Adventure 3, yeah. Like, oh my gosh, how can I explain it? Um, uh, where can I go? Where can I go with this? Where can I go with this? That won't make the fan base attack me. Um, like, Sonic games have been a little shifty within the years. Like, we have good games like Sonic Unleashed, Sonic Generations, and Sonic Adventure 2, and we have bad games like Sonic 06 and a lot of other games. If they make a Sonic Adventure 3, not only will they have to resort back to their old formula, but they'll have to make gameplay styles for all the other characters because if you've noticed for these past few years, in most Sonic games, Sonic is the only playable character nowadays. Nowadays, before they had, if you follow since Adventure One to Sonic Sonic Six, they had multiple playable characters. If they resort to Sonic Adventure Three, not only will they have to like resort back to that gameplay style they kept for maybe about five years, but they'll also have to recreate new gameplay styles, which, in my opinion, might actually work. Because Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2 had some of the most solid controls I've ever seen in a Sonic game. They weren't the best because they were buggy at times, but they were pretty good for like a for like a late 80s, early to, um, 2000 game. If they could resort back to that gameplay style, if they ever make a Sonic Adventure 3, which probably they won't, hopefully they do, they could probably, Sega will probably be up on the top because Sonic Adventure 3 has been anticipated for years now. And Sega hasn't given to, given it to us. If they do make a Sonic Adventure 3, though, then most of the fan base will probably calm down. Because if you haven't noticed, the fan base for Sonic is pretty horrible. I mean, they bash on games like Sonic Unleashed for being terrible, but yet, yet they respect Sonic Adventure 2 for being the glor the holy grail of Sonic games. And that game has its fair share of problems, too. But, yeah. So this is pretty much my list of most anticipated games that I really want to come out. I know this probably bored you, but just go with it. So, like what I see here, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want, and I'll see you guys next vlog or let's play or video I do. So peace out, peoples, and brr